Florida. And my husband and I, we have the this business that we are very excited about because it has to do with recycling and vermiculture. We had traveled to Australia back in 2002 where we had gotten our training in vermiculture. And while we were there, we had visited the Realm factory where they have the can of worms, where they manufacture the can of worms. And actually they make these can of worms out of old car battery cases. Well, one of the things that we were so excited about Australia is because back in 1996 to the, for four years, from 1996 to the year 2000, they were able to reduce down the amount of organic waste going to their landfills by 65%. Imagine, 65%. But well, we were excited about that aspect of being able to clean up our environment and the idea of bringing that thought process and that procedure back here to the United States. So this is why we're so excited that you're interested also in the can of worms. Now, right here I have a can of worms that is an active can of worms. This is the way it looks whenever you have all three trays in action. And as you see, we do recycling. Even look at my little pail down here that I collect my tea. <laughs> it's a goldfish pail. Okay, well, that's just going to show you that I'm into recycling. But I know that you're interested in knowing how to get started with your can of worms. And let me show you. Here is a fresh new can of worms. Now, it was in a container like that, all strapped together, but on the inside of that, whenever you unstrap it, you will find, of course, the legs are in there, the spigot is in there, there is a coconut fiber core that is in there, and there is an instruction book, and right now, here is the instruction book that is in there. In that instruction book, it tells you to take your coconut fiber core, the paper wrapping on it and everything, and submerge it in a, um, a bucket of water. And it takes about 45 minutes to an hour before that gets all soaked up. The other thing that it tells you is to take this, top round circle here and you're going to be placing that in the very bottom of your first tray. I'm going to show you just how you build your can of worms. All right. I'm going to show you that you start with the first tray. All right, let me take these two top trays off, set them off to the side. I'm going to lift this up, and I'm going to show you that this down below is where you are going to be collecting your, we call it vermi liquid, but you can call it worm tea. But now, well, I guess you could try to drink it if you would like, but, um, the worm tea will look something like this. Maybe darker, but it will look something like this. It's going to be great for plant food, a liquid plant food. And the way at our farm that we feed our worms is we also give them volcanic rock dust. Um, that volcanic rock dust, it's a combination of about seven different volcanic rock dust patterns and this is something that we had learned when we were in Australia. And it places 77 different trace elements into your liquid as well as into your castings. And after a while, I'll show you also what your castings will look like. Okay, back to the drawing board. We are going to put together our can of worms. So we're going to place bottom layer there. According to the instructions, we're going to put this round 